Yo guys, what is going on? We're back again with another video. And today, as you can see, we're back with a play to earn NFT game, a new one. Okay, this is our play to earn NFT game. Okay, come join this guys. Discord link will be in the description, Twitter link will be in the description, and the website link will be here. You can check it out yourself. Okay, it's called Heroes and Villains, as you can see here. Nice and bold. This picture will be changed for, obviously, it will be changed for NFT. And so will this Joker picture, we changed for NFT. Um, the NFT art is starting today, I believe. Um, well, it has started already, but I mean, like, properly, properly, properly. So it shouldn't take too long for the NFT art to be actually completed. Um, like I told you guys before, website will take a while, but we've got website done in record time. Welcome to Heroes and Villains. Heroes and Villains is a staking game using 12,000 algorithmically generated and hand-drawn NFTs on World. Stake your heroes and villains to see which team comes out victorious. The ultimate prize is for heroes and villains to see which can get their hand on Excalibur, the mightiest sword in the universe. Two million world will get you Excalibur, and with it, royalties generated from NFT sales for life. This is nice to see. They're like, we're actually getting, we're actually providing you guys with a large amount of funds to be able to consistently earn for the future by utilizing the royalties earned from NFTs. So there will be like taxes on NFTs that are sold and things like that on, on external markets. And who knows, you might even try to include further things that maybe I mean, if in the future down the line, NFT to be able to be purchased with World Token. That's what I wanted to do from from the from the get go, but it is a bit difficult because if World's not stable right off the get go with the liquidity and things, then some people get World really cheap. Some people have to pay a lot. It's a bit obviously, it's a bit um complex. But yeah, level up heroes and purchase power ups, handcuffs, and potions to increase your team's abilities. So yeah, there's there's obviously a few things that you can do. We've added the extra NFT compared to other. P2E games, um, such, as, such as handcuffs, and handcuffs will actually allow for individuals to be able to, um, so like for your villains, the handcuffs will make it easier for you to for you to, for you to steal a mint, okay, so that's brilliant, um, just, just add a little quirk in there, so, because villains are so, so rare, but your aim is to level up as much as you can to gain access to a private channel in Discord, so what this is, is if you get to a level 100 for a hero, yeah, or multiple heroes, you actually get access to a private Discord. Like, so with the same Discord, but a private channel within the Discord. And within this channel, you'll get you'll get more access to me, more access to the to the devs, to the mods, things like that. So you bright you guys just get more access and be able to understand and talk to us more so that we can actually see your points, um, talk to you one to one, and things like that. You just get more access to us. We get to learn, hear your ideas, things like that. So there's a lot of utility for you guys to actually level up. And plus, if you get to level hundred, you earn so much world. So yeah. Here's our economy. You stake your NFTs, purchase in-game NFTs to compound your world to earning. The higher level your heroes, the more world they accrue. The higher the tier villain, the higher chance of them to kidnap a hero and, and the world tax that they gain. As the game progresses, world will become more valuable to achieve Excalibur. The NFTs allow royalties to be earned for life. The world token will be used as a Titano fork in the future. This is the biggest thing we've ever seen, okay? No one has ever done this. I transitioned this into a, a, like a big eye from a, just from an idea that I had from a friend. Um, shout out Jorbo. And we actually changed it into something like this. So I saw in a lot of NFT games, play to earn games, the token that they were earning just decreased so much, so heavily. This is why we actually ensured a buy and sell tax on the world token. So... Each time a buy and sell happens, it kind of encourages to play the game. It encourages the game theory. So before we start the game, I'll actually create videos to show you guys what game theory is, how it can benefit you and the project so that people are understanding what the game theory is. And furthermore, um, with regards to Titan of Fork transition, um, later down the line, in, in about a month, two months time, when we do transition into the world, into the Titan of Fork, people who hold the world token, basically what it means is your world token will automatically compound every single day at a consistent rate of APY. So you might be getting 2% every single day or 1% every single day to be even more sustainable. And so that's how you make your future money. And it will stay like that forever. And the buy and sell tax will allow us to keep, um, to burn some tokens every week to make it um, a little bit deflationary and also market more with the marketing and obviously add to the liquidity pool. And obviously, dev gets dev get a bit of um, the percentage as well. So 
a lot of things have been thought into this project. So if you guys get into early into it early, it is literally crucial. The Discord is down below, so make sure you just check that out and try and get your whitelist spots. We're very, very early, guys. You have to remember that extremely early. Game roadmap. Everyone knows that this only strongest get world, of course. Stage one, heroes and villains fight for world. Stage two, level up using world and buy NFT boost to earn even more world. Okay, look at that. It's like compounding on a whole nother level, okay? Einstein, compound is the eighth wonder of the world. Come on, guys, what are you missing out on? Stage three, get Excalibur for two million world and earn forever. This is our mod, Cryptopus. What's going on, mate? Thank you so much for joining the video. <laughs> Stage four, world becomes a Titan of Fork with a sustainable APR. Yes, guys, a sustainable APR because we will be able to continuously invest into other projects to even potentially increase the APR slightly, okay? So that's why it's so crucial. We might be um, creating a treasury. Um, funds from this will actually be put into a treasury, which we will also already start investing in other projects. So for the Titano Fork, we'll be ready to get a really nice APR. A sustainable APR is just in between 0 0.8 and 1.4% is what like I've actually worked out myself. Um, but typically, we want to stay on 1%. I could potentially get it to 1.4%, but I'll see how that goes, depending on how many funds we actually are available before we actually launch into Titanic Fork. Otherwise, we can transition to increased APR as we go along. Minting. Mint Gen Zero Heroes and Villains. Heroes and Villains are incorporating the ability to stake and earn, utilizing the game theory to see whether the brave heroes become victorious to earn the world or the evil villains steal and earn the most. There are only 5% of villains keep them safe. Yes, 5% of villains, guys, 5% of villains. So that means they earn a heck of a lot more tax. Each villain will earn a heck of a lot more tax, okay? And when people are on stake and try and sell, like being naughties, then literally they will earn a lot of world token. Stake your NFTs and earn world. When staked, heroes are earning world as they are working the hardest to solve the world. Um, save the world. <laughs> Each hero will be able to level up, to be leveled up, which comes up with attribute boosts um, to earn more world. Villains, however, let the heroes do the hard work for them and swoop in at the end, as we are aware. Um, I want to show you guys quickly, we do have a white paper here. Um, it will be in the description as well. You guys can read through all this. I do suggest you guys read through all that if you are interested in the project so you know everything that's going on and how to play the game effectively. I know you know all the mechanics behind it. If you want to talk to me in the um, Discord, just drop down below. So yeah, buy and sell tax. So here you, here you are. So um, our world will incorporate a tax upon buying and selling the world token. This is because we will transition to a Titanic fork in the coming months, giving extreme utility to not only um, the world token, but also for Excalibur, because the NFTs will also gain value because they will allow you to compound even faster. So by you holding that, you will still be earning that world token, guys. You have to understand that. You will still be earning world token. And your world token will automatically be compounded every 30 minutes itself anyway. So it's like a, it's like a ridiculously um, complex and amazing passive income scheme, which sounds too good to be true. But honestly, it's just literally something so simple that we've adapted into a PTE game that can be done within a day. And I mean that, like it's, 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 it's amazing. Um, but yeah, buy tax, 13%, which goes into 5% marketing, 5% liquidity pool, and 3% dev wallet. Um, and that's obviously because all these developments, they, they cost a chunk. Okay, oh my. A lot of the mods know um, the cost it is ridiculous for all of this. And obviously, we want to keep our mods as happy as possible by paying them actually a really nice amount. So that's what I really want to do. But yeah, sell tax, exactly the same, but a bit more for liquidity pool. 5% marketing, 10% liquidity pool, and 3% dev wallet. So this is just ensuring that whales have less effect on the market. And we can actually be able to actually cause a bit more... Um, strength and stability within the price okay even if it is staying steady going down a bit or even increasing okay so it's just like making it a bit easier to gain um like even if a big well sells then we at least profit out of it as well okay we still get marketing budget increased we still get liquidity pool increased as well but yeah mint gen one heroes and villains compounding is the eighth one of the world according to einstein yes einstein what's going on um, use the world you've earned to mint more gen one nfts remember the stronger your team the higher their ability to uh, able to earn you more beware villains are lurking to kidnap your mints they are i'm telling you right now they will they will kidnap your mint and you will hate it okay but um yeah Heroes will be minted at level zero. As you level up your heroes, they will become stronger and stronger, thus earning you more world. Reaching level 100 will allow heroes to randomly select for huge giveaways. I mean this, guys. Literally, heroes will be 
selected for random huge giveaways and i mean big 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 giveaways okay and earn a place upon the gods within a private discord channel however every five days if not leveled up a hero will lose one level your heroes will need your help if they become victorious and save the world that means you have to stay active okay i'm also considering doing some sort of things such as um if people are holding a certain amount of world token, then they will be entered into certain giveaways, things like that. Just, just to encourage more holding, more this, more that, rather than selling and things like that. So um, just little benefits like this to show you guys that we are like very grateful and we want to support you guys who are supporting the project as well. So hero and villain upgrades. So heroes will have the ability to gain power-ups, allowing for a 30% increase in world earned per hero. Potions will be available to, to delay leveling down by two days, keeping your hero working at its full potential for longer. Villains are also able to increase their kidnap potential by using handcuffs, which increases their chances by 10% to steal a Gen 1 Mint. So this basically makes that 5% chance to get a, uh, to get a, a villain ridiculously overpowered, okay? But it's also very hard to get that actual villain. And if you get this the handcuff, which will be expensive, but if you get this, this this handcuff on it, it will be extremely lucrative, okay? The overall aim is to get Excalibur, which provides holders with the ability to earn royalties of NFTs sold forever. This is how true passive income will be achieved. Villain ranks. Villains will come with between tier 1 to 5. These tier levels will determine how much of the world token taxes they collect and their chance to kidnap a Gen 1 Mint. Team. Our team consists of the most talented devs, being able to do the most complicated tasks with ease. Again, I mean this, guys. It's, it's fantastic. This allows us to continue updating the project before I transition to a Titanic fork, giving you guys more abilities, etc. Giving you guys extreme... Like, if, say, for example, if we have to adapt prices, we can do that instantly. And obviously, I'm a YouTuber, so it's brilliant. Um, FAQs, what is Titano? For a lot of you guys, you might be wondering, what is it? I would strongly suggest clicking off the video and having a look what it is. But it's the first protocol with automatic compound and staking. So obviously, it just allows for one token to be held and compounded. So you earn a consistent amount of that token every single day. So your APR just grows and grows and grows. But um, there's also burn mechanisms and buy and sell taxes in place like we have with the world token already. So that we're able to actually um, just keep a consistent graph as well. Chart. This will bring the best utility to the world. What is Excalibur, the mightiest sword in the universe? Holding this weapon will grant you the royalties for life. Can we sell our NFTs? You, you can on NF Trade when upon launch that is, okay? Is it sustainable? Especially, okay, I can tell you to this, guys, I promise you guys this is very sustainable. I really, really can say that. We're at a point where we can say that. With the things that we've adapted within the contract, within the tokenomics, this is the probably... I can I can confidently say this is the most sustainable play to earn NFT game in the space right now. Uh, I'm sure someone else will come out there and adapt this to be even more sustainable. But at the moment, this is the most sustainable in the entire world. Okay, for continuous growth with the project and liquidity pool, and you guys can see that yourself. Um, it's fantastic. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, stay tuned for the next video where I will be going through the white paper. But big thanks for you guys watching. And I hope, I hope, I hope to see you in the Discord. Peace.